Is he ready for you guys to make it real loud for Mark Byrne? What's up, Punchline? How you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming out. Been having a weird fucking week. Uh, the other day, I was out drinking with my brother, and at some point, he decided to ask me, Mark, you ready to grow into a man's body? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck kind of question is that? Like, that's no shit. My brother's known me for 25 years. Okay, I haven't grown since my bar mitzvah. All right, everybody in this room knows the answer to that question, okay? She's looking at me right now like, I don't give a fuck if he was part of but there's no man in that boy. It doesn't exist. Because what a shitty thing to ask anybody. Because I think everyone on the planet, we all have some sort of issue with our body. Like, little people, we just want to be bigger. Bigger people want to be smaller. Muscly dudes want a bigger dick. We all got our thing. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. But so dumb, my brother's only for so long, you should know by now that I have way more in common with being a 15-year-old girl than I do being a man. Okay? You guys understand, but let me break it down even further. Uh, number one, when I cuddle, I like to be the little spoon. Okay, if you've never been the little spoon before, uh, you should try it, you get all the warmth. Right, and that's exactly what you want when you're watching The Notebook. I wanna feel loved. Uh, I think one of the most important reasons that I'm like a 15 year old girl is I can still fit inside double zero pants. Yeah, no, I don't know why you just wooed me. Uh, that's nothing to be proud of, okay? I still have to shop at the kids section at Kohl's. And when you've got this shitty mustache goatee combo, you cannot be in the kids section at Kohl's on a Tuesday afternoon. It looks suspicious as fuck. Like, to the point that somebody working there always walks up to me and says, Oh, which one's yours? And I say something and I'm like, nah, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> they all fit in the band. Let's go get ice cream. Let's go get ice cream. Uh, but I think the most important reason I like a 15 year old girl is I don't like anal. <laughs> Did I really just get booed for that? What the fuck? I will see you in the parking lot later. Uh, I don't like anal, but uh, we just played two truths and a lie, so I'll see you in the parking lot later. Uh, that was the same joke. That's not. That's not any good. Um, what else is going on in my life? Oh, I, uh, I saw. I went to the doctor today. Uh, last chance on Obamacare. I uh, went to the doctor, he had a check. I know, it, it is really sad, somebody owed that. Uh, yeah, so I went to the doctor, I haven't been in years. Uh, again, to check out my doctor, kept going in and out. I was like, dude, if you're doing lines of coke, invite me. Like, like we're at Kaiser, everybody's doing something here. But no, like, he, and so he kept coming in and out, and at one point, he came in and he said, hey, how good's your gag reflex? First thing that came to my mind, and I'm glad I didn't say, was ask my boyfriend. Uh, he doesn't like that joke because he doesn't exist. Um, but no, it was so, I was like, I haven't tested it, and he said, oh good, and then he jammed me in the back of the throat with a Q-tip. Like, everyone's gag reflex is good with a Q-tip. Like, that's not gonna hurt fucking anybody. It was totally fun. Yeah, no, it was fine. And the weirdest thing, though, was because like I had the flu for about a week, and it just kept persisting. I was like, so doctor, what do I have? And he was like, could have been just about anything. <laughs> Dude, I could have fucking told you that. <laughs> You're a fucking doctor. I didn't kind of because I was like, I would like to hear the same thing WebMD told me. <laughs> These fucking, fucking doctors. And I was like, what happened? He's like, if you feel the same in like two to four months, come back. You're a piece of shit. Uh, Here's a $20 copay. Anyway. <laughs> what else is going on in my life? Oh, this was a, uh, I had a, uh, I ran into a friend I hadn't seen in like eight years. You guys ever had that happen? Like you see somebody you haven't seen in years, you want to ask them so many questions, uh, but you can't because you found them on an amateur porn website.